Welcome to No Skills Gang. I was planning today to make a radio, something like this, but not that bulky. But instead, I find this online. The problem that we're gonna have as is normal. This we have ordered it and it came. Labeled in a box. So we have to do some like this. About sent from uh, actually the tiny from China, but a proper one. Air White H West Road Share Nanshan District Shenzhen China. So All right, let's open it. Opening. Okay. Here you go. This is the thing inside the box. Mm -hmm. Model mm -hmm. HX3653 function FM receiver. Frequency 76, 108 MHz. Made in China, of course. Let's see what's inside. As normal, it's got no diagram, nothing. Alright, so is this is a battery holder, so it's operating on two AA batteries, 1.5 volts. Okay. The board. Alright, can be a double sided, yeah, this is a double sided board. So you're gonna have some capacitors, a resistor, diode. This is all the stuff that you're gonna find in, in the kit, you know, some switches, the chip, um, jack connector, jumper, I'm guessing this is an inductor, clock, LED, some more LEDs and diodes. All right. So the hardest thing on this board is, is gonna be this uh, chip because this yeah. one is not like perforated. There's like a surface mount, so we're gonna have some trouble uh, adjusting it. <coughs> You're gonna right. have visual inspection. Find this it seems uh, that we have on the on chip. We're gonna check it with a, a small dot here, and you're gonna align it with the dot facing here. Yeah, so but this one is gonna be a little bit tricky to, to solder. Yeah, so but this one is gonna be a little bit tricky to, to solder. All right, now something easy. Let's uh, hook up the resistors, like so. You know the old thing. So we're gonna try it. First one goes here. Yeah, and the rest we're gonna follow them along. All right, we got the resistor in place, all the same. So you shouldn't worry about how to connect. We're gonna flip the board, and you should know by now we're gonna bend the pins left and right be able to hold the position and then we're gonna start soldering all right now we got the board and a little bit flux and then start soldering come on friend nice all right we have them soldered in place now we're gonna flip it back and we're gonna choose the next component. The next component could be the LED, could be the diodes, could be this um, quartz thing, the capacitor, whatever. Let's do the diodes. All right, the diodes fits here in this bottom part, one facing this way and the other one is gonna face that way. So I'm gonna stick it back here and we're gonna solder them in place. Like I told you, we're gonna solder the thing straight away, hit both the wire and the connection, the junction, and then apply solder. Do the same. To two of them, watch out one is round and one is square. I don't know why they did it like so, but it could have a meaning, but never know. And we don't care about it. Alright, one more connection. Alright, the diodes are set. Now the quartz, the crystal, is labeled with a Y1. We're gonna insert it into the hole here. And because we got no other component, we're gonna push it halfway through and then we're gonna bend the bastard like so. And then we're gonna flip it and solder these two small connections here one and two all right next we can put a transistor which is uh, s8050d331 as you're gonna see here it's got three terminal around and a flat surface 
we're gonna insert it all the way through and we're gonna solder the finger now we can put a capacitor here these two of them with a plus so just put the mon the minus on the other side you know one and the same like so right and we're gonna flip it and solder the thing in place all right now let's put the inductor which is this green thingy the big thing like so we're gonna put it on the bottom here between c4 and a from antenna probably like so we're gonna solder the thing in place just like so don't have to apply much solder just to cover the patch and to make the connection looks okay next we're gonna put a connection the jack where it says here phone you couldn't go wrong with it it's got just uh, what? three terminals also small and we nearly solder this connection here I need to apply a little more solder okay seems all right we have to apply now this connector this one into this thingy here labeled SM no, ASW I have to flip it and we have to press this one to the damn it all right we have managed to hold it with with our plier and we're gonna apply solder on this situation is not gonna matter but in general when you're connecting pins and so you have to make them steady or connect them to the other end with whatever is gonna be connected to and then you're gonna have the proper and perfect connection but in this case is not gonna matter I'm guessing it's just for that jumper could be from AM or FM or wherever all right now we're gonna have just the LED with a plus here on to the right side so the plus no, the plus is the, the thin terminal yeah, I'm gonna leave it like so fuck it let me check yeah plus and minus normally we can put the LED like pencil huh? what do you think Nah, fuck it. I'm gonna put it straight. Straight in. Just solder the thing in. Both to the terminals. And it should be good to go. Alright, now we're gonna put the, these um, switches. This one doesn't matter how you're gonna connect them, I think so, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm gonna put it with the thing pointing up, like it shows here, you know, just, but you're not gonna fit. Nope, so it has to be the other way. Alright, that slides in quite good. Nice one. This one they're gonna stay. Apart from this one, which is quite fucked. Alright, so we got five switches. Come on, man, what the fuck? There you go. That was easy enough. Huh? Nice. Nice. And then we're gonna solder them. We're gonna flip them on the other side. Apply solder. Apply a little bit compound and we have a in place. 
and we're gonna solder them all in come on yeah that's it all right friends we have them all soldered in place the switches the led the jack the connector all what we have left to do oh, is to connect these capacitors and now we'll see which one goes where my well, friends now the mm -hmm. test without the antenna or a proper one we can go with one uh, the um, lithium battery and without a proper antenna it goes very low if you're gonna touch this wire see so we're gonna try to make an, uh, a bigger antenna with this wire we're gonna wrap them around and see what we get stay tuned there you go friends it's all about antenna see let's try to start something else I'm just gonna find it come on fellow five minutes past one there you go yeah nice and powerful let's turn it down a little bit Nice. Yeah, friends, so it's working a nice gadget DIY electronics. How to do it? Thanks all for watching. In the meanwhile, thumbs up, subscribe, and put a comment below. Yeah, yes.